What up YouTube, this is your guy right here, Lava Lords Universe, coming at you again with another video. The Nintendo Switch is a Jetson TX2 processor. You know why I know that? Cause guess what? Doom requires 8 fucking gigabytes of fucking memory to run it. It can't run off of 4 gigs of RAM, okay? That's the minimum requirements for to run Doom. So therefore, the Nintendo Switch has 8 gigabytes of memory. Not storage memory, but onboard RAM. Random access memory. It will need either a Core i5 equivalent or a Core i7 equivalent. Well, a Core i5 for the minimum requirements and a Core i7 for the maximum requirements. So for all these people talking about Tegra X1 inside the Switch, shut the fuck up. I'm tired of y'all saying that. Quit fucking saying that, because it's not fucking real. As you can see on this chart, the data storage for the Tegra X1 can only store 16 gigabytes of onboard memory for the data storage. The minimum that the Nintendo Switch comes with is 32 gigabytes of storage. Yeah, because theoretically everything else is similar, but the Tegra X1 is a mass Maxwell processor and the X2 is a Pascal processor with 256 CUDA cores. There's an HMP Dual Denver 2.2 whatever quad arm processor, 4K, 4K, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? Hmm. Yeah. I just crushed y'all right now. As you can see right here, let me let me show y'all. Eight gigabyte LDDR4. How in the hell can Doom run off of four gigs of RAM when the minimum PC requirements is eight gigs? Every system that has ran Doom runs with a eight gigabyte memory. Duh. It runs on 8 gigs of RAM. The PS4 has 8 gigs of RAM. The Xbox One has 8 gigs of RAM. Of course, PCs can hold 8 gigs of RAM. So, the only way Doom can run on the Switch is that it has a X2. A Tegra X2. Because the Tegra X1 is only 4 gigs of RAM. 4 gigs of RAM cannot run fucking Doom. No matter what you try to do with it. It can only run off of 8 gigs of RAM or better. So y'all should just shut the fuck up. For real. All these people talking about Doom has a Tegra X1. Digital Foundry, shut the fuck up. Spawn Wave, all y'all, shut the fuck up. There's only one person that came with facts. And that's my boy right here. Gaming Tech Review. Y'all need to go watch his video because he breaks it all the way down. Then I helped break it down too, because guess what? The minimum requirements for Doom? Look, a Core i5-2400 or better. Minimum requirements is 8 gigs of fucking RAM. So how in the fuck is it an X1 processor when the X2 is 8 gigs of RAM, but the X1 is 4 gigs of RAM? So quit underpowering the power of the Switch, because clearly it's running Doom, Wolfenstein, and all that. Any modern game it can run because it has at least 8 gigs of RAM. And that's all I have to say right now. That's the minimum requirements. Let's check the maximum. Let's check the maximum. A Core i7-3770 or better. With at least 8 gigs of RAM still. Video card GeForce 9x70, GTS 970. Yeah. That's for the video card. It has to be at least 4 gigs for the video card. But the system bandwidth has to at least be that 8 gigs of RAM. And they can use a 2 gigabyte video card. But guess what? Nintendo has optimized every piece of their device to run any game that it can run. Including Doom, which is a next generation title. So, y'all need to just shut the fuck up. This is Cross the Perfect Gamer. 
I'm out of here. I just destroyed whoever the fuck said that shit. Peace out. <laughs>